United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be seated. In case you didn't know, last week is National Lunch Hero Week. On that note, there has been some changes on the lunch menu for this week. Okay, on Monday, it's chicken egg roll with sweet and sour sauce. On Tuesday, it'll be a max stick with marinara sauce. Wednesday will be a bean and cheese burrito. On Thursday, it'll be a cheeseburger. And Friday will be Wild Mike's Cheese Bikes. Delicious! <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, Trailer Tuesday again. Today's book is Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne. Uh, one of the classics, as I'm sure many of you know. It's about a scientist who tries to circumnavigate the globe in 80 days, visiting many uh, destinations and facing a lot of hardships. Great book, one of my personal favorites. If you want to get it, check it out in the Ingleside Middle School Library. Timely Tuesday, talented Trojans. Next week is our last Spirit Week. There'll be Spirit Dates every day of the week. Kicking off Monday, May 17th, there, it'll be all black clothing day. Tuesday will be twin slash matching day. So grab a friend or few and plan matching outfits. Or if you want to rock it solo, match in all one color. Wednesday, May 19th is favorite character day. Dress up as your favorite character. This character can be from a movie, TV show, book, or video game. Thursday, May 20th is neon day. End, end the year on a bright note in your favorite neon clothes. And finally, Friday, May 21st is Comfy Clothes Day. Relax at the end of the week in your favorite comfy clothes. Make sure to participate in this slide. Phew! Saying all those spirit days got me out of breath. Felt like a workout. Speaking of workout, let's go to Sports with Hudson. Hey Ingleside, it's Hudson H. here with sports. With some basketball news, the Suns play the Warriors later today at 7 o'clock and against the Trailblazers on Thursday at 7. In some Arcadia sports news, a popular football camp that many people have heard of is hosting football has started last week and ends at the end of this month in May. This football camp has already currently started and is ongoing, but if you wish to join the next one, it starts at June 1st on, from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. and ends on July 1st. Now back to your anchors. Thanks for the sports report. There will also be an NJHS induction ceremony Monday the 17th. Another reminder for 8th graders, don't forget about your end of the year party here at Ingleside. It will be from 7 to 9 p.m. on Wednesday the 26th. I'm going to be popping out at that party. On that note, let's go to some news on the pop star Justin Bieber with the special report. <laughs> Hango side, other Hudson here with a special report. Famous pop star Justin Bieber is accused of cultural appropriation with his new haircut. For those of you who don't know what cultural appropriation is, it fuse to the use of objects or elements of other cultures in, in a way that doesn't respect their original meaning, give credit to the source, or reinforce stereotypes, or con contribute to op oppression. This is a new. This is his new haircut. Oh, whoops, wrong side. People are saying in his haircut that he is appropriating African American people with his hit new haircut. What do you think? Thanks, Hudson. Have you heard about the Chinese rocket hurtling down to Earth last week? It crashed over the weekend. Thank God it didn't hit us. The story is as follows. Recently, the Chinese were banned from the International Space Station. Due to this, China is making their own space station. A rocket with parts to supply the space station was launched into space but got separated. The rocket was supposed to go down to Earth and land in the sea, but it was taken by Earth's gravity. Wow, that sounds really scary. I'm glad that we're all safe. Well, that's it for now, Ingle said. Have, Have a good rest of your day. day. Bye! Bye. I'm here with the staff member of the week, Ms. Molnar. She's a sixth grade counselor and I'm going to ask you a few questions. So number one is where is, what is your favorite place you've ever traveled? My favorite place that I've ever traveled is Tahiti. It is very beautiful and tropical. What is your favorite hobby? Well, besides traveling, I learned how to play pickleball recently and I love it. Part three is what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Something Has to Give. Okay, that's all. Bye, Ingleside. Bye, Ingleside.
Ugh, don't ever be friends with her. She's the worst. All we do is sit on our phones and play games. She's so boring. I thought she was like her. Oh my god. She liked the video. I'll get it. It's Logan. I have to hide. She's trying to say sorry, but I'll never forgive her.